Toby was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes less than a year ago. I was really sick and then I started losing heaps of weight and drinking heaps and like peeing all the time. So mum just took me to the doctor because I was falling asleep in class and all that stuff. And yeah, I just had a finger prick and I was, had a high blood sugar and yeah. Well, I got really sick and my immune system attacked itself and that caused my pancreatic cells to not produce any insulin. And yeah, that's just pretty much what diabetes is. Toby manages his diabetes with a continuous glucose monitor and multiple daily injections. I'm just injecting insulin, yeah. But I'm thinking of getting a pump soon, so... Only months after his own diagnosis, Toby met Zayden, who'd also been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Oh, his dad actually works with my dad, so... And I had a talk to... Because um, I was working with dad, so I had a uh, talk to Wayne. And he was like, yeah, my son just got diagnosed. So I just decided that I, he needs some help. I did a half marathon and I managed to raise $1,100. So that can help him with his managing his levels by getting the library and like having it funded and stuff and yeah. So I think he's going pretty good though. Cause he's young, so it must be hard, yeah. Yeah, well I just got back from a school camp and when I go low or high, my, my phone beeps. And I was in a room with like 30 kids and it was just beeping all night because I went for a massive hike and when I hike I go low. So yeah, I just it was just beeping all night and keeping everyone awake and I was like embarrassed. Yeah, that wasn't a highlight. There are some upsides to having type 1 diabetes though. Just the lollies pretty much, getting to eat the lollies when you're low. <laughs> it makes you kind of tougher and more resilient, yeah.